This is the perfect exercise if you want to get back into drumming shape. Just to give you some context, I was out of town for about a week. During this time, I didn't even pick up my drumsticks. And when I came back this morning, I started practicing and realized that my hands were completely out of shape, especially my left hand. It just doesn't have that extra gear that I had before I, I left. So I picked a very simple pattern, focusing on my left hand. It's just right, left, left, right, left, left. And I practiced first measure in 16th notes, second measure in eighth note triplets. The reason I wanted to do this is so that I also get my brain back into shape and also it's just a really good way to calibrating your doubles. So the first measure, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, second measure, one and a, two and a, three triplet, four triplet. You can count triplets however you want. And if you want to go straight into the play along section, you can fast forward the video. But what I'm gonna do before that is I'm going to explain the mathematical relationship between the 16th notes and the 8th note triplets. This is something that I ignored for a while. I just went with the melody pretty much. I don't know if you've practiced this with the bass drum, it's a great workout as well. Basically what happened to me is I was just calculating how much faster and how much slower do I have to go to transition between one or the other. I understand the concept that the first one, there's more space between the right hand and the doubles. And the second one, you have to spread it evenly. That's just the very surface of 16th notes and 8th note triplets. But the problem with that is that I was constantly switching gears in my brain. So I was thinking 16th notes, then switching to 8th note triplets. 16th notes, 8th note triplets. The problem with that is that I'm calculating and it's impossible for me to be precise, to be mathematically precise. And in order to find the same uh, subdivision between the two, we need to understand exactly what they are. So if you have 16th notes on one side and you have eighth note triplets on the other, you'll notice that there's no common subdivision. So it forces you to really feel two rhythms at once. This can be very challenging if you have never heard about polyrhythms. And if you've heard about polyrhythms, then th all of this is gonna make sense. But basically what we need to do is we need to find a um, common subdivision between the 16th notes and the eighth note triplets. So I'm gonna make this short. This is a subject we can go very deep into this. I'm gonna try to be as brief as possible just to open the door for you then you can go as deep as you want. But basically if instead, I'm still gonna play eighth note triplets, but I'm going to think in terms of 16th note triplets. Because if I do that, then the end of the, my 16th notes and the end of my 16th note triplets are going to be exactly the same. So for example, if I have one E and a, two E and a, and I count, let's say one, two, three, 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 one E and a, two, So that's how they share the same subdivision. The first step is to be able to count eighth notes while you transition between 16th notes and eighth note triplets. And the tricky part is not with the 16th notes because you have one E and a, two E and a. So everything lands with your count. One, problem is when we switch to eighth note triplets because we have that and that if we think in terms of 16th note triplets the and goes right in between the two left hands one and two and three and four and one that's the same and as one and two and three and four if you want to talk more about this, you can contact me to info at drumnationtv.com. This is a subject that we can talk about for hours and hours and hours. You can just request, a, request some guidance. You'll get in touch directly with me. We can schedule a meeting or something. We can talk about this. I'll be very happy to help you. Other than that, let's go to the um, play along part. 
Uh, this is a website that I designed that helps me. It helps me so much when it comes down to practice. It helps me visualize exactly in mathematic, with mathematical precision what it is that I'm trying to practice. So I'm going to show you how this is. This is a free tool that you can access by going to drummerlab.com slash player. Now what's great about the, um, about the premium subscription is that it gives you access to ghost notes, uh, flams, and also courses. But I'm not gonna get too much into it. I'm gonna write down the pattern. So the first measure is one and, and just for, you know, for, you don't have to ghost these notes. I just like how it sounds when I ghost these notes right here. This is gonna be the first measure. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right. And it's always recommended to count out loud. If you can count out loud, it's gonna help you play it way easier and faster. And the second measure, like I say, because I wanna practice my eighth notes, I could do 12 notes, which is the equivalent of eighth note triplets. This right here is the exact same thing as if I do 24th notes, they're, they're proportional. I just need to leave a space in between because pretty much what I'm doing here is each one of these spaces, I'm cutting it in half, but everything is mathematically precise. So you don't need to worry about that. So you see this and right here is the same and as the one on the top. But if I have this and it doesn't, it's not, it lands kind of somewhere in the middle of the E. It's not exactly the middle, but I won't really get into that. So I am going to write everything in 16th note triplets like this. I have one ready here. This is if I write, if I wrote this in eighth uh, in, so this is the 16th note triplets. These are the eighth note triplets. You'll notice that they sound the same. They're the exact same rhythm. They're just visualized differently. So in this case, I am going to go with, uh, oops, sorry, 24th notes. 24th notes are equivalent to 16th note triplets. That's because there are four, uh, 24 subdivisions in one measure. That's why they're called, they can be called 24th notes. And this is the exercise right here. So if you go to drummerlab.com slash player, you can just copy exactly what I did here and then you can just press play, you can choose your tempo and you can play it for as many hours as you want. What I did is I did five minutes just playing it along at a faster speed. I like to pick a speed at which I struggle a little bit. I'd say it's like 80% of my capacity. And then I slow it down to a speed where I feel comfortable counting it, which is what I'm going to demonstrate that. I think 60 is a really good speed for me to count out loud right there, oops, which, which is the one, this one right here. So if I go to 60 beats per minute, it sounds like this, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, The and goes one and two, right in between the two left hands. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So like I said, this is very challenging for me, but it's not impossible. The more I work on this, the, the better I feel with it, the faster I can go with this pattern. And the goal is not to play this as fast as you can, it's just to get back into shape. If you try five minutes, slow counting out loud and you try five minutes at your let's say 80 percent capacity you will immediately notice like wow i need to practice this every day so i'm very grateful that i found this uh exercise to get me back into shape and i'm also very grateful that i could share it with you if you have any questions or any suggestions please write them in the comment section below or if you want some guidance you can contact me to info at drumnationtv.com and I'll be very happy to schedule a meeting. And this is something we can talk about for hours and hours and hours. So let me know what you think and I will see you next time.